Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm here with Breen Baker, who is a product manager on Google Analytics. Breen, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me, Krista. Of course. So today, Breen is going to tell us all about rollup properties in Google Analytics 4. Rollup properties are a great way to bring data from individual properties together to see at a rollup or higher level of view. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Breen, and he's going to walk us through rollup properties. So we'd like to start with what we designed rollups for. As Krista mentioned, they're really here to unify your data. So you'll find with different setups uh, that you need to, for whatever reason, be them governance or organizational reasons, that you have certain subsets of data, certain data collected, probably by brand, uh, in individual properties. Um, but you might have a group of folks above that. Maybe it's a larger company that's in charge of multiple brands that needs to see across all of those properties. And that's what rollups have been designed for. Second, I would like to, just like to underline that rollup properties are just like all other properties. Naturally, they will have more data, but they do have the same limitations and quotas. They have the same features and abilities to integrate. So in reality, while they're rolling up more data, they will behave just like ordinary properties do. Rollup properties were designed for that specific use case of rolling up data together, but they were not designed specifically for governance. So there is no governing control between a rollup and its source properties. You will not be able to push configuration from a rollup or push events from a rollup into source, source properties Data actually flows from source properties into the rollup. And likewise, source properties have no control over the rollup. So this is really an independent property built for a special team of people that are able to look across this portfolio of, of brands or ordinary properties. Uh, and last, just to underline, because of the limitation between an app only being able to be linked to one GA4 property, if you do want to bring multiple apps together, you will need a rollup. And of course, we want to make very clear uh, that rollups do come with an additional cost and that that should be a very key point in your consideration for when you create a rollup. This does mirror the cost structure that we had in Universal Analytics. So hopefully it does not come at a surprise, but it is there and it is definitely worthy of consideration before creating a rollup. We'll end with a few examples and then a demo. This first example shows a very classic case, the one that I was going over, where we have multiple brands and then a portfolio company over the top controlling all of those brands. There's no overlap between these brands, which is pretty important in this example because if there was an overlap, some third property, some sorry, some fourth property that all of these would share that would likely be broken out in a fourth property and then again rolled up um, to, to make the, um, the full parent company view. Uh, there's no governing hierarchy like we went over before, and it does come with the 0.5 per event additional cost. This second example is a little bit more tricky and shows uh, a specific team from a rewards program needing a special rollup. In this case, there's a rewards program for each brand and then there's a team at the parent company level that looks over all of the rewards programs across all of the brands. We have in the gray boxes, ordinary properties collecting data for each brand. Underneath those, we've created a sub property for the rewards program component of each brand, probably a set of pages and a specific portion of their apps. That is then rolled up off into the side up here into the rewards program. Additionally, they have a full parent company rollup, which shows both the rewards program data along with all of the other data, and that's in the parent company rollup. And with that, we'll jump to a demo. Okay, so we find ourselves here in the admin section of the Google Merch GA4 demo property. In order to create a rollup, I'm gonna have to click this bright blue create property button. When I do so, I'll see that I have the ability to create all three property types. In this case, I will choose to create a rollup property. And here I am in the role of property creation experience. I'll need to give my property a name. I'll just call it test for now and acknowledge that I'm aware of the additional 0.5 cost associated with creating a role of property. I can click next where I'm then uh, given the choice of 
what source properties to send into this rollup. I can select one ordinary property or one sub property from every group. So in this case, I'll go ahead and select the Google Merch GA4 ordinary property, and I'll select this Canada sub property, again, just for demo purposes. I'll go ahead and click Confirm, and it'll inform me of that I've selected two source properties and the quota for all of the integrations. I can go ahead and click Next, and if I wanted to actually create this property, I would fill out the business information and click Create. Thanks so much for showing us all about rollup properties in Google Analytics for Breen. These are super useful to get that holistic view of your data, especially when you are something like a large company needing to bring data together and so forth. So I hope you guys can see how useful these are and you can get started today with rollup properties in Google Analytics 4.